Hold on guys, this is Sumner Healy from thelandpioneer.com and in this video uh, we're going to share some really beautiful properties that we just listed out in Costilla County, Colorado. These are some of the cheapest properties, the most discounted properties in the entire state of Colorado and they've all got flexible owner financing. That means you don't need to go to the loan to get a bank, you don't need to worry about an approval process, you don't need to be worried about putting down a huge down payment. I mean most of these properties you can finance for as low as $199 down, right? Really, really small down payments, low monthly payments, big acreage. We got properties between five and 10 acres out here in Costilla County, Colorado. Now, if you've never heard of Costilla County, Colorado, before I go through the properties, let's just take a look on a map, right? Here's Costilla County, big county. It's got a huge land mass. There's a ton of undulation to this land too. You've got Sangre de Cristo is running up the east side. You've got the San Luis Valley on the west side. It goes all the way down south to the border of New Mexico, and then all the way up north to Blanca Peak. Uh, now, we get a lot of questions where they say, Sumner, you know, where is that relative to like Denver, for example, right? A lot of folks live in Denver. A lot of folks want to own land in Colorado, but maybe they can't afford it in Denver uh, just because they've been priced out. So, if we look at uh, going from Denver to Costilla County, it's about a three hour and 40 minute drive, depending on how fast you drive and depending on what route you take. So we get some folks that you know might have a job in Denver and end up moving to Costilla County, Colorado, and they work remote. Or maybe they just buy a piece of property for you know recreational use. Come out in the summer, camp on it, maybe build a cabin on it, um, or they just buy it to hold and potentially resell down the line. Now, not everyone that buys land from us in Costilla County lives in Denver, right? Uh, you could live just about anywhere and own these properties out in Costilla County. But I think it's good to know, hey, how far is it from you know, a major metropolitan area? Now, Denver is going to be like obviously the biggest city that it's close to. But in terms of general amenities, if we think about getting stuff at like Walmart and kind of having um, that typical smaller town but has the, the amenities that we're used to, we're going to find that in a town called Alamosa. Now, Alamosa is in the adjacent county. It's in Alamosa County, uh, and the town is also called Alamosa. 47 miles, 49 minutes from Costilla County, uh, so not too far of a drive. Now, in Costilla County, you do have the town of Fort Garland, um, and there's little towns kind of littered throughout. But if you're looking for the typical amenities, movie theaters, Walmart, you're going to find that in Alamosa County, Colorado. So without further ado, uh, let's pop on over to thelandpioneer.com. This is where we list all of our discounted properties. Every property we list has got flexible owner financing. So if you're looking for land in Colorado, you can come here. If you're looking for land in other states, all you got to do is hit location and you can sort by county and state. Now, let's look at these properties here, right? We've got a 4.8 acre lot. We've got a, well, actually, sorry guys, I just made a bit of a mistake. I was showing you guys properties that we have listed all over. Let's sort by Costilla County. Now, we've got a 4.8 acre lot, um, and this one can be financed for 199 down, 168 a month, right? 168 a month. Most people spend more money on coffee every month going to the Starbucks, the end of their Frappuccino, uh, and for 168 a month, you could be building equity and owning a piece of land that you can use while financing that you can use to secure your future you know when we look at land it on average appreciates by four and a half percent per year right it's a hedge against inflation it's a tangible asset and you can own something like this for 168 a month it's pretty unbelievable uh we've actually got the same pricing on this 5.3 acre so if you want something that's a touch bigger and you kind of want to be the the, the one to jump on it while it's still around, I reckon this 5.3 acre gets bought before the 4.8 acre lot just because it is uh, a tad bit bigger. Same price, 199 down, 168 a month. And now you might be saying, Sumner, how do I actually buy these properties, right? I want to secure this deal. I'm ready to move forward with it. Really, really simple. First thing we recommend doing, go to the listing. Uh, you can read all about the property. So you want to make sure, do your due diligence, right? Read about the property. Make sure it's going to work for what you're looking to do. Uh, and we've got all the zoning information here. You know, you can have a, a single or double wide, wide mobile home on the property. You can have a manufactured home on the property. Now there is a square foot minimum put in place by the county. It's 600 square feet. There's no HOA out here. 
There's no POA out here, but there are, of course, zoning laws put in place by the county. So you want to be mindful of that. Uh, there's no time limit to build, right? It's a really common question, and I don't know where the misinformation has come from where folks think they buy a piece of land and got to start building immediately. That only happens once you pull building permits, right? Most counties are going to give you about 24 months or so to complete your project. But if you don't pull building permits, that thing could stay vacant for the next 100 years if you wanted it to. Um, and so what we find is a lot of folks who want to buy land, they might want to sit on it for four or five years, use it in the summer, maybe get away in the winters and avoid the harsh winter somewhere else and go live on some nice sunny land during the winter. And maybe they want to build in the future, but rarely do they want to build right now. And so that's something that's really nice to know is that you don't have to worry about that. Um, Short-term RV camping. So you can go 14 days within a 90-day period. You can't get a 180-day permit out here at the camp. Uh, you do have to get that from the county. It's not very difficult to do so. Uh, now, a common question is, Sumner, are there utilities out here, right? Um, in most cases, no. Sometimes you're going to be close to power, but kind of like my safe thing that I tell everyone is just assume that it's not there, right? There's no city utilities out here. This is rural. This is like an off-grid kind of lifestyle where you're not going to find uh, electric power poles everywhere. You're not going to find sewer. You're not going to find city water. But on the flip side, you're not going to have neighbors. You're going to have freedom. You're going to have time to reconnect with nature. And you're going to have an opportunity to own land at a fraction of its true value, right? If we pop on over to Zillow, which Zillow is a common site where most folks go to look at listed property. And we're looking here right in the same area where these properties sit. And this is in Costilla County. You can see a five acre listed for 17,500 bucks, right? Five acre, 23,000. Five acre, 7,500. Seven acre, 15,000. 10 acre, 22,000. Five acre, 7,000. 7,600. Look at these properties, 4,900 bucks across the board. You've even got a 10.4 acre lot for $9,700. You can get that property for $4.99 down and $2.87 a month for 50 months. Now, something that's important to note is uh, we send a photographer out to these properties, right? We've actually got some new drone photos coming out. We just sent a, another photographer out there to get some aerial photos. But if we go down, we can see the note from the photographer. So it's really easy to get to. It's about 10 minutes from Highway 59. The roads coming in were all nice dirt roads. This property is closer to the established power system towards Mesita. But solar, wind, and generator will probably be the less costly of all options. Uh, lots are nice and flat. Sagebrush was low, so you can probably drive onto it with an SUV or RV, and you wouldn't need to cut in access. Now, a lot of people do ask, hey, Sumner, you know, the sagebrush out there, should I clear it? Should I keep it? This is typically how most of these properties look. You'll see this low hanging sagebrush. I think if you are looking to build a home site or even just kind of clear a pad for an RV, it is recommended that you'd cut in a driveway or cut in a little home site uh, where you could park your RV or begin kind of laying a foundation and developing. Um, it's just going to be a lot easier. So you're not going to have huge trees to get rid of or anything like that. And the topography out here in the St. Louis Valley is pretty much all flat for the most part. Only thing that you're going to have to deal with is I would advise kind of clearing out some of the sagebrush. Uh, it's just going to make it a whole heck of a lot easier for you. Now, the roads actually getting these properties are pretty good. They are dirt roads. Uh, but we've had folks that have headed out there and, you know, Honda Civic. People will take their four by four out there as well. But the roads are, for the most part, pretty good in all of Costilla County. Now, of course, they do have a, a winter season, and that can change things. So you want to be mindful of that. Uh, but for the most part, these properties are very, very easy to get to. Now, in terms of going back to touch on utilities, you know, what would you do if you're living on these things full time? Water delivery is pretty common. You could drill a well. Uh, water table out there. We've been quoted 60 to 100 feet to hit water, but Again, it can range wildly just based on the location of your property, right? So kind of hard, fast rule of thumb, but drilling a well, it's, regardless, is always going to be expensive. So we've got folks that do like a water catchment system. We've got folks that do water delivery and they'll just store the water in like a storage tank. Uh, or again, you could drill a well. Now, in terms of electric, uh, generators common out here, solar, it could do winds. Uh, or if you're close enough, you can run a power line to the property. But again, even if the, the power is half a mile away, quarter mile away, 
can still be very, very expensive to run power. So in some cases, it still doesn't make sense, even if you're close to the power poles. Um, and then you're looking at septic. There's not going to be any sewer out here. You're just looking at you know having septic to dispose of waste. Now, if any of these properties are interesting to you, you want to learn more about them, I put the link down below. You can go directly and take a look at these properties. If any of them do sell, you'll see it notated on the listing so you can see what's available. If you have any questions, you can chat with my team and I live here, or you can just give us a call directly and we'll happy to answer any questions that you have. Again, if you like these properties, you want to move forward with them, uh, all you got to do is click on the listing that you like, hit place down payment, and one thing that is worth mentioning uh, before I hop off is anytime you're looking at land, whether it's one of our properties, whether it's someone else's properties, one of the best things that you can do, if it's available, is grab the coordinates. If it's not available, ask the person listing the property. And anyone who's proficient at selling land should always provide you with the coordinates. Now, what you want to do with those coordinates, take them to Google Earth. Really, really simple. We can do this together here live, right? We'll grab the coordinates, we'll click on over to Google Earth. And what Google Earth is going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to visualize the property from really any angle. If you live out of state or you live far away from the property or you just, you're just you not going to have the time to go see the land, this is one of the very best things that you can do to get a really good sense of how the property sits, right? And this is as close as you can get to boots on the ground. Uh, now, we have some folks who might send out a photographer or pay for a scout to go see the property, and that works, but this is entirely free, and you can do it in real time. So let's take a look here. Takes a little bit to load. You can see it's going to take us from New Mexico all the way to Costilla County. And voila. Let it load. Here's the property. You can click on this little compass icon down below. And flip it around see the property is totally level you can see what you'd be looking at if you're sitting at this property looking in this direction you see the roads cut in you get a good sense if there's utilities close by you can pan around you could zoom out so this is a fantastic way to get a sense of hey what are the neighbors doing if there are any neighbors what's the topography of the land where do utilities sit close to land what are some of the features that are close to land what would my views be if I did develop on the property, right? So you can get a really good sense of what the land looks like just by popping it on here. And you can see this property has just got incredible views. Uh, mountains kind of just all around, kind of 360 mountain view as you sit in the San Luis Valley. Now, if you guys have any questions, all of our contact information is down below. You can visit us at thelandpioneer.com. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about buying land, I'm always available to help. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Be sure to subscribe. Talk soon.